Yeah, didn't walk over here. I could have very easily. <laughs> On a hot day like this one, Debbie Kaiser chose the air-conditioned option to check out the progress of the Fall Line Trail while on the way back to her Bryan Park home. I love the fact that it's community-oriented and bringing people to experience different parts of the Richmond area that they haven't seen before. Three, two, one, cut! Henrico County celebrating the first portion of the Fall Line Trail to open up in the county at Spring Park off Lakeside Avenue. Seven and a half miles of the 43-mile Ashland to Petersburg Bike Pedestrian Trail will go through Henrico once fully complete. It's more than just a trail. It's a gateway to our parks, neighborhoods, and history. This small section connects pedestrians and cyclists to the Bryan Park and includes a pedestrian signal across Lakeside Avenue. This Spring Park section of the trail actually goes through this old bank drive through right here. It's only about a quarter mile long, but it's a small but mighty portion of the trail. Here's why. It might be barely more than a quarter mile, but this section will connect Lakeside and Henrico to the city of Richmond portion of the trail, beginning at Bryan Park. These city and county connection points will allow runners, walkers, and bikers access to all seven communities along the Fall Line Trail, something that requires a high level of coordination and planning. So now that this is done, the next step is to head up into Lakeside towards Dumbarton Road, and then that stretch will go all the way, seven miles, up into Hanover County. We're currently working on acquiring right-of-way and, and finishing up the design process for some of the other phases. Terrell Hughes heads Henrico's Public Works Department. This is definitely on the cutting edge of you know what we're trying to do in terms of just enhancing multimodal connectivity. He says their regional partners agree and see the Fall Line project as a benefit to the whole region, like the popular Capitol Trail, but one that runs through more residential areas. I think we're expecting to see a lot more of that type of usage on the Fall Line Trail. Through exercise and through community service and all the things you can do to pull people together. Kaiser had just returned from volunteering when we met her she thinks there's the potential for the fall line to have a major impact on her community and her family. I have two young grandchildren. I certainly will be using it. <laughs> and RICO officials expect to have the entire seven and a half miles of their stretch of the trail done by 2026. Reporting in Henrico, Jake Burns, CBS 6.